So we want the frame to be as stable as possible, and these 20 by 20 administrative extrusion do the job very nicely. The space inside each face is almost the same measure as the M4 nuts. So we'll be using this type of M4 to aluminum extrusion connections to fasten our electric components to the frame. The head of the M5 bolts also fits the inner space of the aluminum extrusions very nicely. And will be the measurement of bolts we'll use for building the lower and upper part of the frame. Before we add the 40 centimeters of aluminum extrusion to the motor mounts, we need to fix three of the four Nemo 17 motors to them. We'll add the GD2 timing pulleys and fasten the grub screws with an Allen key. These screws can become loose and slide away from the motors, so we'll fix them with some super glue to prevent this from happening. Then we'll use the M3 5mm bolts to fix the motors to the inside of the motor mounts, like so. Fastening these bolts can be tricky, as the clearance is pretty tight and there is not a lot of room for the Allen key. In this case we can tighten the M3 bolts with a pair of pliers till the motors are fixed to the mount. Now that our motor is fixed to the motor mount, let's add a pair of M4 bolts with their washers and a nut on the inside. These bolts will keep the towers in place. Now let's repeat the process till three motor mounts have the respective NEMA 17 motors with an added GT2 timing belt pulley and two combinations of M3 bolt, washer and nut together. To build the lowered frame, we can now start fixing two aluminum extrusion segments to one motor mount, then move to the second one and link this two together. First, screw the bolt to the motor mount, then add the washer and the nut. Repeat this process until the four bolts of one side of the motor mount are in place and slide the aluminum extrusion. With the aluminum extrusion in, tighten the nuts till the aluminum extrusion is nice and snug within the motor mount. Repeat this process till two of the six segments are in place and two motor mounts are linked together. Now add two more segments to the third motor mount. Link them together to the other mount and slide the last two aluminum extrusions to fit the third motor mount. This part can be tricky. You'll need to slide the bolts in the aluminum extrusion. Match this to this and push them in the remaining sides of both motor mounts. Once this is done, check all nuts are nice and snug but not overly tight. Our bottom frame is built.